Howdy guys, welcome to the video for Elden Ring. My name is Vitus S. Jin. In this video, I'm gonna show you a build that I put together that gets the job done on tougher enemies. Let's call it the Blood Flame Nagakiba. This build works by using both long range and close range attacks to defeat your enemies before they can even lay a finger on you and build up blood loss so you can deal more damage and they can take even more damage from your attacks. Now, before I get into that, please, sub to this channel for Elden Ring and like the video. And after the video is over, please share with me any builds you may have so I can try them out and make a video on them and give you credit. Thank you. Okay, so to make this build, you'll need a few key components. Firstly, the Nagakiba Katana. Now, if you don't have the Nagakiba, don't worry. I'm about to show you exactly where to get it. Otherwise, using the Uchi Katana works fine too. To get the Nagakiba, all you gotta do is head to the grace site for the seaside ruins and find the campsite for Yura, Hunter of the Bloody Fingers, seen here. Now, depending on your progress in the story, you may have to fight Yura as an invader to get his weapon if it's not laying at his camp like it was for me. Doing a quick search of the internet, I found out that he can spawn here at the north end of this river, situated between the grace sites for Ag Heel Lake North and the Artist Shack. When I went there, though, another invader spawned in, Najuris, and all I got was a dagger when I defeated him. Now, once you have Nagakiba, give it the Ash of War for double slash. The Nagakiba is a longer blade, so it has longer reach than the Uchi Katana. So when enemies come close to you, you can hit them before they can hit you. And using double slash is a great way to do that. After getting the Nagakiba, or if you choose to use another katana, you'll next need the incantation for Blood Flame. Now, I've already made a full video guide for where and how to get that spell. The link it will be in the description and on the end screen of this video, so you can easily navigate there whenever you're ready. Next, you'll need the incantation for Swarm of Flies. This is actually the heart of the build. To get this incantation, you must head to Mogwin Palace and then head to a small cave hidden in the corner of the Lake of Blood, seen here. Now, if you don't yet have access to Mogwin Palace, all you have to do is start White Mask's quest line, which during the course of it, he'll give you a bloody finger and you have to invade three random players and he'll give you an item called Pure Blood Knight's Metal that will transport you to Mogwin's Palace so you can come here and get this spell. Now with those three things taken care of, you have the basic build, but if you want to add a bit more power to it, you should do this. Enhance your weapon to a plus 20 or better. Use the white mask that you get from defeating the three white mask invaders in Mogwin Palace because of its special ability to increase attack power when blood loss is in the area. Use the talismans for Lord of Blood's Exaltation for extra blood loss attack power. Faithful Candid Canvas Talisman, which will make your incantations a bit stronger. The Wing Sword Insignia, which also raises attack power with successive attacks. And the Blue Dancer Talisman, that also raises attack power with low equipment load. Incantations that you can use with this build as well before you go into a fight would be Golden Vow and Flame, Grant Me Strength. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, you can show me your thanks by giving me your like. Any bills that you have, once again, please drop them in the comments so I can try them out for a video and give you the credit. For more Elden Ring guides and builds, head on over to my channel and browse my playlist for Elden Ring. While you're there, turn on my notifications so you don't miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.